good morning students so we must stay safe and protect ourselves from coronavirus and how could we do that let's watch a video try to avoid contact with people who display symptoms similar to those of pneumonia or the common cold like coughing or a runny nose don't touch your eyes nose or mouth with unwashed hands Wash your hands frequently with soap and water and scrub for at least 20 seconds. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizer when possible. Avoid animals and animal markets. The only current treatment for coronavirus being offered is supportive in nature. If you notice any of these symptoms and conditions, please contact your nearest professional healthcare setup. Help spread this information to everyone. So today's session is about topic 12, lesson 12.5, measure with centimeters. Page number 717 till 720 we are going to cover today. And your homework is assigned online. Just log in to person online to check your homework. Okay, so let's review what we have learned so far from lesson 12.1 till lesson 12.4. So we learned how to measure length and height using inches, feet, and yards. Then we learned to use different tools for making measurements. And we learned the correct use of ruler, measuring tape, and yardstick. Okay, so just pause your video right here and take out your rulers. I want all of you to take out your rulers. Okay, so I hope you're having your rulers, you are ready. So in the previous lessons, we were using the inch side of the ruler. We were using this side of the rulers, right? Because we were measuring in inches. But in this lesson, we are going to use the centimeter side. We are going to use centimeter side and look on your ruler, how long is it? Mine has 30 centimeter on it. What about yours? So we are going to use this side of ruler for this lesson. Okay. Okay, let's watch a video before starting the lesson. How can you measure to the nearest centimeter? Let's find out. One centimeter is smaller than one inch. Your fingertip, a button, and a blueberry are each about one centimeter long. To measure to the nearest centimeter, look for the halfway mark. If the object is longer than the halfway mark, use the greater number. Between which two numbers on the ruler does the connecting cube end? between one and two centimeters. About how long is the cube? Select your answer. The cube is about two centimeters long. It is longer than the halfway mark between one and two centimeters. If the object is shorter than the halfway mark, use the smaller number. Between which two numbers on the ruler does the paper clip end? Between the three and four centimeter marks. Is the clip longer or shorter than the halfway mark? Select your answer. It is shorter. So, this paper clip is about 3 centimeters long. Now you know how to measure it to the nearest centimeter. Okay, page number 717, lesson 12.5, uh, measure with centimeters. The green cube is 1 centimeter long. Okay. How can you use one centimeter cube to find the length of the line in centimeter? Measure the line and explain. So we have to 
find out the length of this line and we have to use one centimeter cubes like this. So if you have uh, blocks, building blocks or Legos at your home, just take out the Lego and uh, measure it using your ruler if it is one centimeter. Then place the Legos on your book and see how long is this line. So for me, when I place the blocks like this, for me, the line was about 13 centimeter long. Okay. Let's have a look how to measure correctly. We saw the videos regarding this. So just for review, when we are measuring any side using length, uh, using sorry, inches or centimeter, you have to place the edge of the object on zero point on the ruler on this zero point don't place it here on the edge of the ruler no you have to place it on zero mark and then you have to see where the object ends and that is going to be your final answer so this pencil is about 11 centimeter long right so on the next page there are some objects given in the pictures. For example, in problem one, we have to measure the length of a stapler. And here the estimate is written. Now, what is the estimate? Again, revise. What was the meaning of word estimate? Excellent. It was guess. It was guess. We will guess the nearest answer, the close answer. So then you will use your ruler to measure the length. And when you used your ruler, it was about 18 centimeter. It was about 18 centimeter, very good. And then same thing you will do with this book. First, you will see how tall is it and you will guess or estimate, and then you will use your ruler and look for the nearest centimeter. How tall is your Likewise, you have to finish this page also using your ruler, measure the height and the width or the height and the length of different objects. Right here, the estimates and right here after using the ruler. For question seven, Josh estimated that the length of his reading book is about six centimeter. Is he correct? Is it so? Do you think a reading book or your math book, let's say, is only six centimeter long? So just write your answer here. What do you think? Josh is correct or not? Then Shai estimated that the height of her desk is about 10 centimeters. Okay, in this problem, the girl is saying that the desk or the reading table is only 10 centimeter tall is she correct can a desk be only 10 centimeter long so just think and write your answer here on the okay on the next page question 9 find an object that is about 10 centimeter long write a sentence to describe your object using these words so just look around in your room and search any object that is about 10 centimeter long. And then you have to write here two or three sentences about that. And you have to use the word centimeter and estimate while writing the sentences, right? So you can simply write, I estimated that a crayon is 10 centimeter long. So, or anything which is 10 centimeter long, you can write about that. Okay, question 10. Nick wants to put another pen end to end with this pen. About how long would the two pens be together? So there is one pen on the ruler. And how long is it? Quickly tell me what is the length of this pen in centimeters? Excellent, it is seven. It is seven, very good. Now he wants to put another pen end to end. Now what is the meaning of putting another thing end to end? Means like this. He will put another pen 
like this and now he wants to know what will be the length of two pens so simply you can see if one pen is seven centimeter long so two pens will be how long bravo very good double of seven 14 centimeter long excellent now question 11 paul says that a toothbrush is about 19 centimeter said by paul and then sarah says that it is about 50 centimeter so who is correct just take out your toothbrush and your ruler and measure your toothbrush with the ruler and right here who do you think is correct paul is correct or sarah is correct last question assessment mary measures the length of her eraser to the nearest centimeter what is the length of her eraser to the nearest centimeter so just look at the eraser how long is it look for the halfway mark here is the halfway mark and the object or the erasers ends on greater than halfway mark or shorter than halfway mark excellent it is finishing on this point and this point is greater than halfway mark so what is the length of eraser if the object is bigger than halfway mark so you will choose four or three excellent excellent it will be four very good Okay, that's all for today's lesson. I hope you learned the concept. Your homework is assigned online. So just log into your person account and do your homework. See you in the next video with a new lesson. Till then, take care and stay safe.